everybody, Manga Mike here, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using a, uh, a template and making like a character design, basically, and having like a reference sheet for your characters. So um, I know that this is a different setup. Hopefully, it's a good change. Um, I'm doing this because it's a little difficult right now for me to do extra drawing while I'm trying to also work on my manga. Um, hopefully, uh, once I get everything kind of copyrighted and whatnot, I'll be able to share a little bit more with you. I'm really looking forward to that. I can't wait to start sharing this story. I think it's, um, it's a story that hopefully will reach a lot of people and help a lot of people out who are dealing with some of the problems that my main character is dealing with. So, um, in today's video, I have, I guess, a few points that I really want to talk about with this. Um, before I get into that, I am going to leave a, uh, a link to the um, template uh, in the description below. So if you would like to use the template that I have in this video, uh, you know, maybe you can go down in the description and look at it and hopefully it'll be helpful for you. So the first point that I want to really talk about is why developing um, a character reference sheet is so important when you are starting to make your comic. So a big mistake that I made and a big mistake that I feel like a lot of people make is that um, you want to just start drawing, right? You want to just start making your comic. And the problem with that is if you're trying to make your comic and you don't have a reference sheet for your characters, they're not going to look consistent all the way through and it's going to be kind of a uh, really hard process. It's going to be really frustrating for you. Um, so what you want to do is, is you want to do a, um, a sheet like I have the template below. Um, you want to have different views of your character. Um, you might not want to do as many as I have on the template. Uh, that's just for me. That's so that I can practice those views um, and make sure that my character looks really crisp in all those views, or at least looks the same in all those views. Um, and what you want to do is, is you want to just go ahead and practice different views with a neutral face um, so they're not making any real expression. And then you want to go ahead and go through different emotions. Uh, so happy, sad, triumphant, confident, um, you know, scared, shocked, amused, stuff like that all the way through. And then when you um, go all the way through those, you'll find that when you're trying to draw it uh, in your comic or manga, then it's not going to be as difficult to do. And you're probably going to be able to do it quicker, which is my second point, is that it's going to help a lot. Once you go through drawing your main character's face like 50, 60 times, trust me, at that point, you're going to be able to pump out that character's face like it's like, I don't know, just like, you're going to be able to do it quick. So, um, uh, yeah, so just have that in the back of your head. Like, it might be a grueling process. You might be like, just, I just want to get to the fun stuff, man. But, you know, just push through it and I... I I guarantee you it's going to help you in the long run. And when you're doing the fun stuff, you're not going to get as frustrated as easily. So um, my last point with that is uh, for people that find that it might be like a really grueling process, also try to take it as a learning experience, right? You are drawing your main character and you should be proud of that main character and you should want to do that main character as consistently as possible. And it should also be fun. If you're finding that it's not fun, maybe you need to work on the design a little bit more, find something that you're really excited about and rethink the like the way that you're doing things because if it's not fun then it's not really worth doing anymore um, especially if you're like in a position like me where you're working a full-time job and trying to create something like this so just keep that in mind um, I kind of went through how to use it which was my second point um, the only thing I'm gonna add to that is you also wanna make sure it's not just facial expressions you also wanna make sure you're doing your characters like body and stuff like that so you want to do the front view of the body the side view of the body an ant side view of the body a you know a bird's eye view of the body um, you know maybe do a whole, like a few like dynamic poses and stuff like that so you have that kind of set up with your character um, and yeah then I feel like once you're done with that and you have good character design you're happy with it then you're ready to move on to another character. Once you get like your main characters and like say your first chapter or two done and out of the way, then I'd say like, hey, 
you're good to start your um, your manga or your comic as long as you have all of the backgrounds and stuff planned and those are consistent as well. You're good to go. You are good to go. But with one more caveat, you also need to make sure that the story and the writing is consistent for your characters. Each character should have a personality that carries them through this manga. I'm not saying that they can't have an arc because obviously, um, I mean, there are certain characters like Goku, for instance. He's a very flat character. He does not really change in Dragon Ball Z. He stays pretty much the same. But there's characters like a Vegeta type character where he develops throughout the entire series. But the thing is, is it didn't just go from Vegeta being a, a, a bad guy to Vegeta being like one of the two saviors in Dragon Ball Super, basically, of, um, you know, that that universe, Dragon Ball Z. Um, it didn't just happen overnight. Because if it would have happened, he just went to sleep and woke up and he was now a good guy, it wouldn't have made sense. Um, so those changes need to be something that happen over time and that are consistent with your character's um, development. Okay, so try to keep that in mind. And sorry, one last point with that is you also want to make the way that they talk consistent too. So you can't have like, for instance, very overgeneralized example, but you can't have somebody that's southern like myself talking like I'm from Canada. That wouldn't make any sense. Like you can't have somebody that is from the West Coast talking like they're from, um, I don't know, some... Like, they can't be talking like the British or something like that, you know? Um, not even just talking accent. I'm talking, because obviously they're not going to know the accent. The reader isn't. Um, but I'm talking about, like, their actual speech patterns, okay? So I think that if you keep those things in mind, so the first thing is templates are important or character design pages are important because you want to keep your character consistent. You want to be able to draw them quicker, um, and you also want to learn how to really draw that character and all the intricacies behind drawing that character. And you also want to learn about yourself, your style and things like that. And that's going to develop as you do this. Um, the second thing is how to do it. So quick rundown. Top, neutral faces, neutral body type, all the way through. Next, do the emotions. Happy, sad, excited, scared all that good stuff. Um, and then my final batch of points was your writing. So that's something that's really important. Make sure the writing's consistent. Don't have a character be good one day for X reason and bad the next day because of no reason at all. If they go from good to bad and there's an event that happens in between that would change that character's perspective on the world that you've created, then cool. But that's a change that happens over many chapters. That doesn't just happen in I mean, unless it's an explosive event, it doesn't just happen one panel and then the next, you know? So try to keep that in mind, okay? Um, but other than that, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you, <laughs> if you um, also have any comments, questions, concerns, please go down below and comment for me. Um, if you have any ideas on videos that you would like to see me do, do that as well down in the comments. Uh, if you really like the video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will try to keep doing things at least once every two weeks. And if um, this is actually a little bit quicker for me, just doing topic videos like this, so maybe I can try to do a um, weekly schedule in maybe a month or two once I settle down with my own manga. Um, I'll try to go back to the weekly schedule that I had. But um, anyways, I would love for you to join the community, the Manga Mike community. It's a loving community and it's growing day by day and I'm really proud of it. And I would love for you to be part of that as well. Um, and then my last thing is have a great day. I'm on the mic.